In my last video, I realized that I forgot to show you some other laser discs I have, and that's why I called the first video Laser Disc Collection Part 1. And today is my second part of my Laser Disc Collection. The first two anime I'm going to show you are not exactly kid friendly. Let's hope that YouTube is not going to ban my video. The first one is some kind of like, uh, you know, hentai anime. Why isn't there any furigan on it? So I'm um, sorry for my laziness. I should have checked it on the internet what it is actually called. But yeah, I got this on for really cheap. Another laser disc I have is also not quite kid friendly. It is part of Cream Lemon. It's an OAV based on a manga by Moriyama To, which is a pseudonym for the author Naoki Yamamoto, who drew Dance Till Tomorrow. Now for the last part, I have some uh, Ghibli laser discs. First, let me show you an American release of Kiki's Delivery Service, which has an amazing cover. A cover by Disney. Please enjoy this amazing artwork. This is just superb. The one who is responsible for the cover, he really knew what he did. Let's be honest, it's horrible. This release is interesting because it contains the English dub and Kiki was voiced by the actress Kirsten Dunst. So this is interesting. Gigi, the cat of Kiki, was voiced by the late Phil Hartman and I think this is was his very last role before he passed away, I think in the late 90s due to a tragedy. So before I got any laser discs of the Ghibli movies, the only way I could watch Ghibli movies back in the 90s was either by uh, VHS copies, which I got from some friends, or by buying some official releases. And the very first official release I got was this lovely VHS tape from Fox Studios of my neighbor Totoro. Have a close look of this artwork. I wish you happy nightmares. So it was this one or I got like from a rental video store the cut version of Nausicaa, Warriors of the Wind. And until then that was the only way for me to watch the Ghibli movies. So one day I saw a release in a Swiss store which I knew I had to buy it. And this was the laser disc box of all Ghibli movies up to that point. So. Let me show you that box. It's quite heavy and it's quite interesting. So this laser disc box is called Ghibli ga Ippai Sakuhin LD Shoe and it was released in late 1996 which means it contains all the movie up to then. The set comes in this kind of cardboard box. When you open it you have this big box inside with the same print this box has a kind of like silky smooth surface some kind of silk or like almost like some kind of satin it's really nice to touch then you open the box and you first get a booklet a booklet with some liner notes explaining some details for example about some shorts and also explaining an interview with Akira Kurosawa. One thing you need to know about this laser disc box is that the covers were made specifically for this box and this was the first time that the publisher used some specific artwork for the uh, movie and not the posters back then because before that the VHS releases of the movies they all had the Japanese poster artwork. So this was the first time they made specific artwork just for a certain release. First we have On Your Mark, the seven minute video clip with the music by Chage and Asuka. So this laser disc not only contains On Your Mark, but also a short called Sora no Tane and some other shorts. Next we have an interview with Hayao Miyazaki and Akira Kurosawa. This was an interview, I think it was made in 1991 or 92. And it's quite interesting because you see how humble Hayao Miyazaki is when he is at Akira Kurosawa's home for an interview. And because today you know Hayao Miyazaki as like this older cranky man, you can really tell that he admires Akira Kurosawa. Then we have Whisper of the Heart. Then this is Pompoko by Isao Takahata. Next we have Ocean Waves, which was a television special. Hayao Miyazaki's Porco Rosso. Isao Takahata's Only Yesterday. 
Kiki's delivery service and this time the artwork looks a little bit better than the one on the Disney release. This is Grave of the Fireflies and I love this artwork but just judging by the artwork you would know the drama of the movie. My name is Totoro. Laputa Castle in the Sky. And this one contains two laser discs because the movie is quite long. And finally Hayao Miyazaki's Naushka of the Valley of the Wind. So this was a really great way to get all the Ghibli movies up until Whisper of the Heart. And for the later movies I didn't buy any laser discs anymore because it was a time when I started to get into DVDs and um, I still haven't got the Ghibli movies on Blu-ray because, well, because I all have them and because uh, these days it's also quite easy to watch them as a streaming, like on Netflix. But yeah, it's still nice to have such a collection of laser discs just for the artwork alone. And also these kind of specials are great to have in a collection. Until 1995 all movies and then on the back here you have the details of the movies. There's even the Stagio Ghibli logo. If you come close, you can see the logo. So this box was quite expensive back then and I got it with the money I earned through mandatory service in Switzerland in the army. So I was just around 20, 21. And with the money I got, I blew it for this LaserDisc box. And uh, yeah, I was quite happy when I got it. And uh, today, well, I could still afford it, but of course I wouldn't buy a LaserDisc set anymore. I would buy a Blu-ray disc set. I don't want to sell it because this is part of my, you know, of my way, of my journey of becoming an anime fan. I'm keeping it for now in my collection. So that concludes my anime LaserDisc collection. Uh, now, do you also collect anime LaserDiscs or... Um, so let's say if you came across this box for let's say 150 to 200 bucks, would you buy it? And if you would, would you buy it to watch it or would you buy it for the artwork or for some kind of exclusivity? I hope you enjoyed this uh, lazy disc collection video and if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and see you next time. Goodbye!